We've got stories that matter to you, and the story that matters to you if you live in Kentucky right now yeah. is the weather. Yeah, and the, the horrible, uh, devastating flooding. Uh, now we have that breaking news that we're continuing to report on. A desperate race to save lives right now. The eastern part of the state has been crippled uh, by what's being described as catastrophic flooding. There's more rain on the way. Uh, rising water sending people racing to rooftops. Crews rescuing more than 100 people uh, by boat and helicopter. This morning, at least eight people are dead in what's being called the worst flooding disaster of a lifetime. Many more are missing at this hour. Homes destroyed, roads look like rivers, cars submerged. Take a look at the video on your screen. Uh, of course, uh, power outages across several states. Uh, now the governor of Kentucky is pleading with the federal government for help. Our Robert Sherman is live in Jackson, Kentucky with a look at the damage there, Robert. Well, Adrian, now that the sun has risen here in eastern Kentucky, we can get a better idea of exactly how widespread that damage is. And it is quite widespread. All over the place, you see homes that have been swept off their foundations. You see roads that are impassable. I do want to show you this. This is the local high school that's here in Jackson, Kentucky. You see all the way in the back left corner there. That's the basketball gymnasium, uh, which we're told is a rather... Uh, state-of-the-art facility, and you see all of the water that's around it, the football stadiums in the back there. Students are supposed to come back to school in the next couple of weeks. That is surely in question this morning. All over eastern Kentucky, you see this kind of damage, and people are just trying to pick up the pieces this morning. Saving lives is now the focus as the threat of more rain looms over eastern Kentucky. I do believe it will end up being one of the most significant, uh, deadly floods that we have had in Kentucky. Across the mountains and hills, first responders are using helicopters to save people stranded in the hardest hit areas. More than 100 people rescued by air and boat, but many are still unaccounted for. One reason why Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir expects the death toll to rise. This isn't just a disaster, it is an ongoing natural disaster. We are in the midst of it. Parts of seven counties are now underwater. Streets, bridges, and streams overflowing. I've never seen water come so fast, so quick. Cars submerged, trees ripped out of the ground. It's bad because nobody has nowhere to go. You got to close on your bank, that's what you got. The stories about losing everything are overwhelming. And so are the survival stories. We had to swim out. And it was cold. It was over my head. So, yeah, it was scary. Trent Mullen's home sits six feet above the nearest road. The water came all the way up to his porch. His dogs waking him up as the water crept around his house. Thank you, Bye -bye, for waking me up, buddy. For Kentucky, this is just the latest cruel blow from Mother Nature. In December, dozens of tornadoes ripped through western Kentucky, including one that stayed on the ground for more than 200 miles. The flooding, just another setback for thousands. There's actually a police officer here in town. They paid their house off two days ago, and now it's gone. Um, there's been people stuck. I mean, it's, it's been really, really scary. So Governor Andy Bashir says much of eastern Kentucky remains under a flood watch today. They are expecting more rain, though not to that same level. But when you see how much water there is behind us, that's where the concern is, is that this will just amplify what's already on the ground. But you think about this for a moment here. Uh, about a year and a half ago, local residents were telling us that they saw significant flooding in this area. They were just starting to get over all the damage that those rainstorms brought about 16 months ago. And now that they've had this this week and potentially more rain on the way, they just feel like they can't get a break. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.